The advanced software allows you to create new customized reports. This enables users to modify the data filters, columns of data to be included, and the format of the report. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create, save, modify, and print a custom report. To begin, go to the File menu and select New General Report, or click on the New Report icon in the main toolbar. The Report Type selection window will now open. You will see a listing of all existing reports, as well as the description of each report. The advanced software includes the additional options of Add New, Add Copy, Edit, and Delete. The Add New button will walk you through the new report generation wizard. The Add Copy button will allow you to create a copy of an existing report. The Edit button allows you to make modifications to any existing report. And the Delete button will remove the selected report from the software. In this example, we will create a new report. The Name and Description dialog will now open. Select the group to save the report to and enter a name and description for the new report. Click Next once the name has been inputted. The Major Filter Items screen will now open. This screen allows you to select the management items or properties that will be used as data filters that you will have to select when running the report. Operation is always required and is selected by default. In this example, we will add Grower, Year, and Product to the Selected Items window so that when we run the report, we will have to select these items in the Data Filter screen. Click Next after adding over all desired filter items. The Fixed Column Filters Items window allows you to select the management items and properties to group your report results by. For this example, we will add Farm as a group for the report so that we will have a column listing all forms and the selected data sets for input into the report. A data set is always required for grouping purposes and will be added by default. The actual data values in the report will be displayed according to these groups. Click Finish when complete. The custom selections for each operation dialog will now be displayed. This screen will allow you to view and modify the default attributes that will be included in this new report on a per operation basis. To modify any of the selected items, choose the operation and click the Edit button. Click Finish once all necessary changes have been made. You will now be returned to the main report type selection screen. The name and description of the new report will now be displayed and is available to run, edit, delete, and even make a copy of. Select the name of your custom report and click Next. Use the data filters that you set up for this report to select the data you want to include in this report and click Next. Remove any unwanted data sets using the Delete button on the Edit Data Filter Results screen. Click Next to view and make any desired changes to the items that will be included in the report. Click Next to move on to the Report Options screen. After making changes to the title, summary source, colors, logo, and page break settings, click Finish to generate your report. The finished report will now be displayed in the main window of your software. This report can be modified using the Edit Report Filter and Edit Report Options tools. You can print this report to a default printer, PDF document, and even save it as an HTML file. You have now learned how to create, edit, run, and print a custom report. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.